Hey everybody, it's your boy Nostalgia Scott coming at you guys with part 5 of Donkey Kong Country 3 from the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. Today we'll be doing Blazing Bazookas, which this is Bazooka. Yeah, not every enemy in this game has a K in its name. Congratulations, Donkey Kong Country. You did it. Man, this, this music is fucking epic. Absolutely fucking spectacular like the Spider-Man. Run from the TNT. It's dynamite. Hey, why in the hell would you tell me to use Squitter if, like, or there's no Squitter if there's, like, no Squitter? I don't know what that barrel's for. I know what this barrel's for. These guys can actually be killed with TNT. Now, with that, we know of the ability to be Squitter. The legendary Squitter. Squiddy Mom. Squiddy Mom. Jumped into a TNT. Well, let's go in. Find the c, c, c coin. Wait, it's just find the coin, not destroy them all. This clearly looks like a destroy them all. Why would you have it designed exactly like a destroy them all when it's only find the coin? See, the thing with this is, you just can't go backwards, you know? Hey, one more banana and we get to leap up. Ooh. Hey, it's Coiner. Oh, motherfucker! He totally got us with his awesome abilities. What are we going to do about it, senoritas? And senor whole bags? There we go. Now, let's just go up here. You know, I wonder if there's anything, like, secret over here. I think that's for, like, if you didn't get the Kong, or, like, if you don't have Squitter anymore. So I believe if you... Do you? No, you get Squitter if you die. And Bear Coin. Now we won't get Squitter if we die, so I don't think we will. Oh. Oh. So this is actually kind of difficult for being such a early game level. It's, like, not super early. It is World 4. But, you know, it's, it's, it is fairly difficult, and we should be getting a DK barrel here pretty quick. At least I'm hoping we do. I heard one. It's down here. Holy shit. There we go. Land right on. We just need one more bonus coin, and we are out of here. And I have a feeling I know exactly where it's going to be. And for this one, I recommend using Dixie. Perfect. Like, I was behind that chain, you know? Find the coin again. Oh, what do we got here? That actual mechanic for once. Yay! Dude, can you stop shooting? It's like, pachoom. Pachoom. I knew there was a secret there. I almost fall down here. Oh, there's one last challenge, I'm assuming? Or maybe there's actually more. Nope, there's more. God damn it. Say, like, oh, I'll throw one final challenge at you. Hang on, I gotta answer a text massage. Yeah, my girlfriend's just worried about getting her check. Anyways, let's continue on to the next level, Loji Labyrinth. A level that I've been fearing for quite some time, not because it's hard, but because it's slow and utterly painful to do. Like, it's just... God damn it. Yeah, yeah. What are we at for lives? Oh, I can't check. God damn it. I don't really want to push start. Alright. You don't want to... Neither Kong is really better for this type of level, just to let you know. And up to Daisy. I guess for like certain parts like that, she can be, but. Why? There's nothing over there. There's bananas. Don't even bother. So slow motion. Bro. 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 Oh, shit. 
I should have a nice tea. God damn it. Like, I'll be fine once we're done this level, but holy shit, McTits. I'm not a huge fan of this level. Yeah. Woo! Come on, Kitty Kong and Dixie Kong. Lead us to Victorinius Tortellinius. I have no clue what the fuck I'm talking about anymore. You just gotta be as awesome as awesome sauce can be. Oh, oh shit, it should have had a nice tea! Oh no. Holy shit, we almost landed on that red buzzer. Yeah. And. But why does low G have to be really, really foggy looking? This is only the first bit of the level, too. There is more to this level. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah. Woohoo! We made it! Made it like Mexican grade tacos. Yeah, we got blue squawks, the most annoying and crappy squawks ever made. Well, let's go to our first bonus right here. Collect 80 fucking stars on oh, man. How many stars is this game? How the hell did I miss them? Hey, if any of you guys play Simpsons Tapped Out, let me know. I play on iOS. Add me as a friend. Solar Warlock? I don't know what I am anymore. And now our TK barrel is up yonder. Boom! Yeah, have we gotten into the concept with him? If not, he grabs barrels and he can kill things with it. So this level doesn't have the, the awesome respawning barrels that a lot of levels do. Fuck you! Squawks is such a bad hitbox. Well, let's go under here and see if there's anything down here. Now, I believe a majority of the stuff is actually at the ending of the level, so don't panic if you don't think you found everything. Like, a lot of people do when they get to, like, the halfway point and realize they don't actually have a lot of the collectibles, and then turns out that... Fuck you! Turns out a lot of the, uh, collectibles are actually, you know, in the middle of the level, or, like, after or just all bunched together in one given area. Why did you give me just one barrel? That seems like it's cruel and unusual when there's three buzzers here, man. Three. Not uno, not uh, not one, but three. Ah, buzzers. I'm pretty sure there's a level called Buzzer Barrage, which focuses solely on these buzzers. I'm pretty sure. Could be mistaken though. Ah, what is this? Respawn barrel? Nope, not respawn barrel. I'm sorry, that was a respawn barrel. Oh, I actually made it through there without taking damage. Here's the second bonus. Say, I uh, told you this is probably one of those areas where everything is close together, you know? Oh, hey, regular squawks. Can I keep him? I like regular squawks, he's badass. Though he doesn't go down very fast, that's the thing with him, I believe. I believe he doesn't go down very fast. Yeah, see in low G, he doesn't go down very fast because of the gravity, you know? It's the entire concept of the level. Oh look, exact same positioning. Now give me my second bonus coin game, thank you. Flap, 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 flap. Am I gonna be him permanently now? This isn't the squawks that I was. The fuck is this? Why don't you give me swervy bananas? This is scary. Fuck you! I'm absolutely paranoid now with the shit. Now, can you? Run! Ah, perfection. Now, if you actually fail, there's a barrel up there, so don't worry. Yahoo! But let's try and not fail. And we didn't fail. Perfect. We're almost halfway done on the DK coins. Maybe the challenges are just banana birds. I'm beginning to think they're just banana birds. Because there's three main worlds left and then the added world, which all have DK coins. So I think we're on par with everything that we need to be. Whoop. 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 
Man, this is so scary. God damn it. Well, at least we beat the level. Never yeah, have to come back to this craptastic fest. Let's go to Chaos Carnage. Clank <laughs> Kong's enemy. You must be destroyed. <laughs> now this boss, you literally just wait for him to like thrust his fire upon the epic ground. As those tape things in his chest look like radioactive waste symbol. Well, not radioactive waste, but you know, radioactive, radioactive Spider Man. They just jump on his head. That's literally it. The boss music is too epic for a boss like this. I'm not gonna lie. This boss fight actually takes a little bit of time, too. Also, in the water world, it's going to be one of my least favorite levels, so I'm probably not gonna do that world first. I was thinking of actually getting it... How the hell did I manage that? thinking of getting it done first, but then I'm like, I always do that in that order, so I'm like, no. I'm not gonna do that. Not today, man. Now his head's off. Now we gotta do the same thing, but... His head's in the air. Amazing. Am I right? Oh my god, it's a robot. Oh my god. I like robots. Oh yeah, now watch out for the head. This part can be dangerous. Just run away. His eyes will light up and then he'll zap you. But for some reason, in the, in the GBA version, he's not very good at hitting you. Does he even aim in the right position? I believe he does that attack twice. And pop! Like, I don't mean he shoots you twice. I mean he goes into this little face twice. Because clearly he shot us more than twice. He shoots us three times. Well, I like the sparks on the ground, they look cool, and you think they'd hurt you if you touch them, but they don't. You can do this from the uh, right side as well, but I like to go to the left side. I don't know why, but I just do. Yeah, actually, I think it's three times. Yeah, this is a big boss fight. Also, it's not the last time you see this boss either. Spoiler alerts, but he does come back. One of those weird bosses, you know? But he doesn't come back in the sense that you have to fight him twice. Like, like a full boss fight. It's a little different than that. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Kong's win? Does not compute. Next time we meet Chaos, we'll win. Oh shit, there it goes. Yeah, we got the other ski. They sure don't make boss battles like they used to. One attack pattern is enough for any gamer. I think you better go back and see Funky. I'm sure he can help you out. Yay! So now, before we do anything, if we go over here, we can actually talk to this person. I'm glad those horrible machines are destroyed. Perhaps my beautiful flowers can start to grow now. Here, have this Bananas Goldus Flutterus. Er, um, Banana Bird. I finished studying its abilities. Some of them are quite magical, I'll have you know. Now, to get that flower, I'm not sure what we have to do anymore, but... Um, hmm. We'll go see if we can buy anything after we talk to Funky. Woohoo! You found two skis! Awesome! Now I've got all the parts I need to make the ultimate ride! Wait right there, kitty, while I bring you my latest and greatest boat yet. Oh, lame. Lameness. Bonkers! I built in a cool turbo feature that'll sure to take you to new heights. Just press the B button. Alright, take the new one. Goes from lame to cool to lame again. Now, let's see, we'll go to the shop. Which is just over yonder, right here. Hello there, young kitty. My name's Bazaar, and this is my general store. All of my brothers are scattered around these islands. Pop in and say hello if you spot one of them on your travels. Hmm, where's the shell from? This shell was found at the bottom of Lake Orangutan, and it's pretty rare. At five bear coins, it's a bargain. Oh, that's it? Okay. It's a deal. I hope you're very happy together. 
Um, chocolate. These are the finest chocolates, guaranteed to impress. They can be yours for just 20 coins. Yes, please. I can tell you now, kitty, that you made a very worthy purchase. And no. Hey, you just have a really nice day now, kitty, you hear? I like how they acknowledge which character you actually are. Now, I think for the rest of this episode, we're just gonna run around and do some errands. So if you guys wanna just end the episode here, then go ahead. Otherwise, you guys can stay, because guess what? Secret! Undercover Cove. Click it. Red, blue, blue, red, yellow, red. So, red, blue, blue, red, blue. Fuck you. I know I messed up. Blue, red, blue, red, green, yellow. So, blue, red, blue, red, yellow. There we go! Banana Bird is ours. Now, as for the shell, we can't do anything with that quite yet because we have to go to a world we haven't gone to yet. And to get to that part of the island is going to be a little bit of a, nu a nuisance. So we have to go back to Lake Orangutan, I believe. We're already done everything with um, World 2, so we never have to go back there. But we just have to continue on and finish off this world. Which means swimming over to this. I believe this is someone's bachelor pad, I forget. Oh, it's his bachelor pad. Hello there, how's it going, kitty? Bachelor is my name, and I built this fantastic new pad. I could really do with your help, though. I'm looking for someone to share my wonderful home with, to help me find the girl of my dreams. I need a beautiful rose and a box of chocolates. Could you get them for me? If you do that, I'll trade you that stupid yellow bird that keeps getting feathers in my hot tub. Here, take it. It might come in useful. Take this, it might come in useful. Oh! Okay, so... What we have to do now is now that we have that we have to we have to go back to the pollution area you know the uh, factory and get that rose because this is a rare flower so we have to give it to the botanist bear baroness botanist baroness i don't know baroness everdeen Got one! A perfect Flapurious Petalus Pongus! Would you let me have it? I'd be ever so grateful. Okay, you are too generous, kitty. Here, take this beautiful rose in exchange. And I believe that's literally all we can do until we deal with more shenanigans. And the issue is you gotta swim through that damn water, so I'll probably speed this part up, okay? See you guys in a bit. Okay, we made it back. Fantastic, you have both the rose and the chocolates. That's just what I need to take out on my date. Say, kitty, would you swap them for the stupid bird? You would, that's great. Here's the bird, please take care of him. Clear up then, I need to take a bath and prepare myself for my hot date. So anyways guys, that does it for this episode, and in the next episode, we will continue our Donkey Kong Country 3 awesomeness. Peace out guys.